Should the U.S. consider closing the Mexican border to help contain the swine flu? Uh, that would be extreme, but that is an alternative to consider given the circumstances. You know, I think that actually might be a bigger problem uh, than stopping the flu because they need to have uh, medicines go back and forth and other sort of things key to fighting the sw swine flu. So I don't think that's a good idea now. Um, right now, I think it's a little too late for that. The fact that we have several cases here already in the United States, um, you know, I, th I think it's really too late. The World Health Organization has raised its pandemic alert level to five on a scale of one to six. Does this alarm you? Sure, you're always going to be concerned when they do that. But again, I just think um, that we need to just look at it and everybody needs to just calm down a little bit okay. and see it for what it really is, you know. That actually is pretty scary, I believe, for the general person. As for myself, not very much. Yes and no. I think that they're being cautious, but at the same time, I think they're causing a panic situation. Do you think the public and the media are overreacting to the swine flu outbreak? No, I don't think so. I think that the participation of the media in keeping people informed will be very important to uh, enabling people to stay safe as this thing goes forward? I think the answer is yes, and uh, it's, it's natural and to be expected. No, I think that they're doing the right thing by giving the information out for the public to respond accordingly. A little bit. Why say? Because, I mean, people die, die by the thousands of regular flu every year, and, you know, this is just another variety of, of a treatable disease. I mean, it's, it's killed people, but lots of diseases kill people.